right, and welcome to the first installment of What Are Ya Reading, um, where library professionals from DeKalb County Public Library talk about the young adult books that they are reading to give recommendations to teens and adults who read YA. I am Fran Weaver. I'm from the North Lake Library, and I'll let the others introduce themselves. I go first, Mia. I was like waiting for you to look at one, and then I realized that you can't really I can't, tell. You can't tell who I'm looking at. Yeah. <laughs> So my name is um, Mia, and I work at the Decatur Library, and that's it. <laughs> Angela? Hi, my name is Angela, and I work at the Ellenwood Library. And hi, my name is Nicole, and I work at the Harrison Crossing Library. Okay, and today we're going to talk about some, uh, briefly about some books uh, that we, a book that each of us are reading right now. These books are available through Overdrive on our website. So if you're interested in reading them, hop on there and uh, you can check them out there. Um, the book that I'm reading right now that I'm really enjoying is called Not So Pure and Simple. It's by Lamar Giles. Um, this is a book about a guy who has had a long standing crush on this girl. They go to church together. Uh, she's finally single. She hasn't been single for years and he sees his moment and he's going to ask her out and he's so busy staring at her that he doesn't realize when he volunteers for something thinking that they can bond over this volunteer opportunity that he's actually volunteering to take a purity pledge and go through an eight-week course um, of purity classes with her. Um, he has sort of a reputation as a player, but actually he's a virgin. Um, he just hadn't really thought about whether or not he would want to continue to be that way. And now he has uh, stood up in front of his congregation and told everyone that he wants to wait until marriage. Um, it's a really interesting book. It's really funny. Um, I think that you'll really love the protagonist. Um, it's also Own Voices, the author, Lamar Giles, um, is um, also a black man. And I think that it handles religion in a way that would appeal to people who aren't religious but wouldn't be a turnoff to people who are. It's very respectful um, and it's just, uh, it's also a lot of fun. So I would definitely recommend this. Who wants to go next? I can, I don't have the book though in front of me. And it's one that I read a while ago but has stuck with me. And that's Monster by Walter D. Myers. It is available in audio and on ebook right now. And if you like Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, um, it kind of has that similar feel where you go through the whole book and you go through all these emotions and it um, sort of ends where you're not quite sure the choices um, that the character is going to make. And I like books like that that kind of make you think. So this one is kind of like that. He's, um, and it's um, about you wonder if he's innocent or guilty, and it's just one of those books that you have to really um, think about for a long time to figure out how you think the ending should be. That's a great book. I love yeah. that book, Fran. Monsters. <laughs> or, uh, sorry, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go next. Y'all uh, wearing the same shirt, Fran and I. <laughs> yeah, we are. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so here, let me see if I can share my screen because I brought my book up. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. All right. So I'll just talk about my book. Um, I chose Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Abertali, and she's actually a local author here in Atlanta. So um, I listened to the audiobook, uh, but it's available as both an e-audiobook and an e-book through Overdrive. And it's actually the sequel to Simon versus the Homo Sapien Agenda. So it's an LGBTQIA book, and it's about a girl named Leah, who's actually bisexual, and she hasn't come out to her friends yet. And so it's kind of like how her secret um, finds its way into her everyday life. Uh, and it's honestly one of my favorite books, not only because, uh, yeah, on it, like I couldn't stop listening to it. Uh, I was doing chores around the house, just like hardcore, like <laughs> what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And it's, I don't know. I just felt like Becky Abertali did such a good job when it came to capturing what Leo was going through throughout the entire story. 
So I just, I 100% recommend it, especially on the audiobook. The narrator was awesome. Yeah. That can make or break an audiobook for sure. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What are you reading, Angela, okay. right now? Okay, so what I am rereading in, um, is Eleanor and Park. So, I um, I loved Eleanor and Park. Um, it is, I guess, a modern day Romeo and Juliet S type story, but it's not too sappy romance. I'm not a big mm -hmm. romance person. So, but this one kind of ticks all the boxes um, of um, someone really doing something for the, you know, the pure love of another, another person. Um, but you have all these other um, things going on you know, in this modern day contemporary type of thing, you have these two people who seem so unlikely to come together and they come together as one and then you have all of the troubles and everything and the angst that teens go through and some go through a little bit more but this is I think it's a beautifully told story and it's one that I don't know it touches my heart so and I, I like those every once in a while. I feel like this is that kind of time where you you kind of need a story that, you know, does a little bit of everything. There's a few little parts in there that might make you laugh, just some that make you cry, some that make you angry, um, you know, so that's one. So I'm rereading Eleanor and Park, and it is awesome, and it is available on Overdrive. That's another one that's a great audio. Like, that's one of the first. It is. Audio. Yeah, that I like. Like, I've listened to it on audio and um but I'm actually reading doing a, a e read now so but yeah it is it's a great one to listen to on audio. Well I love her. <laughs> She's so great. <laughs> okay, so that's all that we have this week. Um thanks for watching. If you have any recommendations for any specific genres that you'd like to hear from us next time, um if it's like a different format. If you'd rather see these, it's like an Instagram story, Facebook story, um, just blog post, um, you know, put that in the comments and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Bye.